up y'all welcome back to the channel not too long ago you guys seen me pick up my brand new hot pink load trail gooseneck but since then I have sold it pretty quickly actually and in this video I'm gonna tell you why it's because I'm picking up a new one today on a real note I realized that I really want a hydraulic dovetail because it's gonna make it a lot easier to haul our lowered trucks and also I'm not gonna have to deal with ramps it's gonna be a lot easier for me to use so I'm picking up a bright pink one of those today, and we're also picking up a Load Trail for Zach, which is a hydraulic tilt deck that's gonna be hauling our Burnout Wars container to all of the events. So, we've got a little bit of a road trip ahead of us. We're headed to Load Trail. Let's go. All right, guys, so we made it to Paris, Texas. Load Trail trailers. This time we're both going home with trailers, not just this one. So exciting. So before we show you guys the trailers, I'm gonna show you this truck over here because I don't know if y'all have ever seen this truck, but we actually built an any level for load trail. So they've got it out here. It's the perfect billboard really, you know, for any company, but this build is beautiful. This is one of the owners any levels we built for them uh, probably about three, four months ago. It's uh, any level, 26 inch JTXs, 42 inch Toyos, all black and brushed to match the truck. Yeah. Turned out pretty good though. Yeah, we're gonna use it for the uh, oh, power button. Press and hold for a couple of, I think for a couple of seconds. Uh, 42 feet long, so that should give you, you got a 40 foot yep. conic? Yep. So it'll give you a little bit of space. I like that aggressive mount there. Oh, yeah. Uh, trickle charger on that setup over there. Mm -hmm. There's a separate trickle charger for this battery. When you hook yeah. to a vehicle, yeah. it's supposed to charge uh, both batteries. Oh my gosh. Think you can jump it? Yeah, probably. No, I wouldn't let do that. <laughs> Man, we will, I will video it. I'll hold the camera, you hit it. All right, so we had this trailer built to haul the shipping container to the Burnout Wars event. It's a 44 foot full hydraulic tilt. You've seen that earlier in the video. Got hydraulic jacks, tandem duels, because we are going to be pretty heavy with a 10,000 pound container, merch, tents, two trucks in it. Hydraulic jacks, this fancy remote that runs everything. Got two solar panels, one to run the winch battery, and the other one is to run the battery on the hydraulics. We got the winch to suck up the container on this. We're gonna build some angle iron runners right here that drop down in the pockets to guide the container up on it. Got the nice black wood. So they put double boxes, one on each side for tie downs. And they hooked us up with a kingpin so that we can haul us behind the semi that you don't know about yet. All right, y'all, we're gonna go look at mine now. I had to have, let Zach have his moment, right? So now we're gonna go look at mine. I've got the new hydraulic dovetail and they even put my logo in the neck of this one, which is, such a nice touch. That's when you know you're bougie. <laughs> so cool. So much better than ramps. So basically, like the main goal of this is, of all the little bells and whistles, is to make it where this is super easy for me to use completely by myself. So we've already got the hydraulic jacks in the front, which makes hookup no problem. Then I'm gonna have this. Like, I'm never gonna have to worry about having an extra hand if I don't need it, you know? And then we just drive right up it. So I thought my last remote was cool. This one's even cooler. We got all the options on here. Got winch, tarp. I don't think we have, we don't have tarps, but. So they added this little extender on the neck because once again, my truck is not lifted yet, but it will be. So the trailer's built for a little bit of a lift, but now this should make it where we're completely even on the ride home. And for the meantime, still using the truck. So for the specs on my trailer, we pretty much have the same as last time besides the dovetail. But if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna run over everything with you. Of course, we've got the hydraulic jacks. That's my favorite part. And we've got the toolboxes on each side for the straps and then the winch up front. This is the coolest part, right? The 
personal little touch. OB Motorsports logo. We love that. And once again, we've got the rubber infused lumber. I loved the traction that this had and it just looks really nice too. Got the tandem dual axles and then of course the six foot hydraulic dovetail. This is just gonna make my life so much easier. So another thing they did add custom is these cutouts in the middle and that just gives you something to hook to without having to go all the way on the outside. That's really convenient. All right, we're gonna try this out. A little ungraceful, but I'll get used to it. Make me sick with it grinding on the concrete. You it's got to go, it's yeah. just supposed to do that, yeah. right? Oh no. Yeah. <sighs> it's okay. It'll be okay. We got here too late to go on a tour. Everything's already closed down, but we're going on a little bit of a tour. Nothing's going to be in action happening, but we're going to go see a little bit behind the curtain. I saw another pink one, a little baby bumper pool. So. I feel like we're on a ride at Orlando Studios or wherever. So, oh my gosh, the plasma cutting. We get to see some action. That is a large plasma cutter. Alright, so with this laser, they load the material over there, program it off, runs in, cuts it, sets it over there, all unmanned. You program it one time and walk away. There's a lot more going on than what I expected for them being closed, so I'm excited. I love to see how stuff is made. So there's typically 500 employees in this building, so it might be a little hectic in here if they weren't closed. So they just told me this is a welding robot, so you see like the wire feeds in there. And that's where it welds, and it just goes along and welds all day, and perfect welds every time. So the way this robot works is this table will turn this way, and it'll weld on the top, and it'll flip the table over, weld the bottom of the other side, and it just keeps flipping and flopping until it welds the whole thing out. right there they program the pin and what color it is and then it comes they push it out and then it just follows follow this, this whole assembly line here they turn around over there and there's a sand blast they go through the blast and they come out white like that and they go over there that's where the cleaning area is sand off all the bbs any grinding anything left as far as cleaning the trailer and then they go through an automatic wash dryer powder coat and just one Forward. continuous line. Yep. Alright, so the trailers go through sandblast, they go through a air clean, then it goes into a phosphorus wash, through the dryer, into the paint booth, then into the big oven. So, one of the most commonly asked questions on the video of these trailers is, how the heck do they powder coat something that big? So, here we are. This is the spray booth, right? Climate controlled. Climate controlled spray right. booth. That's, that's key. That Oh, this is just the primer booth. So we've got that's a good setup. This is where they fill their primer. This is their gun settings for all their different guns inside the booth. Of course, you have to have some massive ovens to put these massive trailers in, right? So they've got not just one, but two 140 feet long ovens. Can you imagine the heat these things put off? Like, I bet it's so hot in here in the summer. It's crazy. Super cool to see a big setup like this, um, just because obviously we work with a much smaller setup, so it's cool to see this like at a really industrial scale. And we're going back outside. Ooh, there's an orange trailer over there. I like anything bright. There's a white one over here. So George, this right here, this is actually a trailer. Uh, 
It looks like there's another one over there with an LB Motorsports logo on it. Just saying. I don't know what that's about. To haul all your vehicles. <laughs> I like this color. It's like a metallic gunmetal gray. Okay. Pretty. So this is a whole nother sandblast, ovens, paint boost, everything here. So it goes down, circles back, and comes to the oven. The oven starts here and goes all the way down there. Look, we've got a color chart over here of the colors you can get. Yeah, these are gonna be pink. Yep. That works. Signature color, there we go. I do kind of like this army. I I mean, I love all the colors. I like that army green, though. Army green looks pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Neon orange. Jet black. They got some good colors. I might get purple next time. Who knows? Sky blue. So once we get the cab over done, we are going to have one of these trailers built, tilt deck to haul the container with. That way we put the smart car up on the neck, put the container behind it, and just roll the, everything on one trailer.